Hello, this is Nathan Seidel, founder of Sparkfun Electronics, here today to tell you about an exciting new RTK product. The RTK postcard by Sparkfun Electronics is an excellent board for anyone trying to do high precision GNSS or location. Whether you're doing DIY surveying or you're doing machine control, the RTK postcard is a really nice low cost entry board for those that are just exploring real time kinematics. The RTK postcard is sort of a conglomeration of some previous products we've released. So the first one being the LG 290P breakout board. This is the new GNSS receiver from Quectel. Uh, we did a pretty basic breakout board for it. Uh, works really well. And then we also have the Blue Smurf. This is the Bluetooth device that you would use normally connected to the breakout board so that you can bring in corrections over Bluetooth from your cell phone. And as it happens often in the middle of the night, couldn't sleep, and was having kind of crazy dreams about how to bring these two products together, what the next thing would be. And we realized that uh, the, the, the little ESP module on the Blue Smurf fits really well on that breakout board. So we were able to maintain the size and come out with the postcard. So the postcard is the combination of those two devices and so much more. Once we decided to add the Bluetooth capability onto the breakout board, we said, well, wait a second. With a couple identifying resistors, we could also run our very advanced RTK Everywhere firmware. So for those of you that aren't familiar, we offer a series of RTK products that run some advanced firmware, does things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and really simple accessibility to get your corrections where it needs to be so that you can achieve that, that golden RTK fix, the really high precision location. The RTK postcard has that LG 290P GNSS receiver module on it. It has the Pico Mini next door and has a singular USB-C connection as well as uh, this is a dual USB to serial chip, uh, the CH342. That's really handy because that allows us to program and configure the ASP on one channel. And we can also do serial output and debug configuration for the LG 290P on the other serial port. Additionally, we've got uh, an external connector. So if you're hooking up your own external radio for corrections, that's available to you. We couldn't decide between which connector would be the best user experience. So we gave you both. Uh, by default, it's the SMA connector. And if you move a small resistor, you can use the U.FL connector. Out of the box, the RTK postcard is ready to run with firmware loaded onto it and does a great job. But we realized that some users would want to do additional things like data logging or um, battery operation. So in addition to that, today we're also announcing the portability shield. This is a, a secondary uh, board that can be soldered onto the back of the postcard, forming sort of a, a nice sandwich. And through the magic of television, we have one built up for you here. So on the back side is the RTK postcard. And on the front side, we've got our display, our five-way nav switch, uh, battery charging and fuel gauge, and then that uh, SD socket for micro SD logging. All right, we're gonna try a three-way screen capture today using the postcard. We've got the postcard connected uh, just to our external antenna. And on my desktop, I've got QGNSS, uh, which is the Quectel sort of software to talk to. We've got connected over serial so that we can see what's coming out of that module, as well as um, in the background, we've got the terminal running for RTK Everywhere, showing that we've got, let's see, currently DGPS fix um, with a um, positional accuracy of about 1.3 meters. That's uh, pretty good for an off-the-shelf L1, L2, L5 receiver. The real magic begins whenever we connect over Bluetooth to the postcard. We can see uh, on the screen, we've got a Bluetooth icon showing connectivity and then can get, start giving it corrections over Bluetooth. So we're gonna connect to our base station here at SparkFun and within a couple seconds, we should see RTK fix. Uh, currently, we've got 31 satellites and horizontal positional accuracy of about 13 millimeters, which is not the best. Uh, on most days, we'll see about 10 millimeter. The data sheet says eight millimeter, but you know we're now talking about millimeters of positional accuracy. Again, the corrections are coming in over Bluetooth to the device, uh, so we could be completely portable if we wanted to. Today, we're just tethered so that we can see the output uh, inside of QGNSS. So if we clear our scatter plot, and zoom in, um, we can start to see our positional fixes with that, you know, uh, two millimeter uh, per 
segment accuracy, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, this is not a low power device. On average, it's about 300 milliamps of current consumption with Bluetooth on actively pulling in satellites, uh, as you can see right now. So uh, as shown, we have an 850 milliamp battery attached which is going to give you a couple hours worth of runtime. Charging is done over USB-C, so if you decide to enclose this yourself, choose the battery that best suits your application. If you need many, many hours, choose a Berco battery. If portability is of utmost importance, you can use a smaller battery and run for a couple hours. In addition to the step files for the postcard mainboard and the portability shield, we'll be posting 3D files for the enclosure that we have here. Uh, it's not by any means a, a completed design, but it should give you an idea of just how small and portable and compact a full-fledged RTK receiver can be. So the next time you're thinking about doing a high-precision GNSS project, we hope you consider the RTK postcard and the portability shield.